On our journey toward wholeness, we experience a paradox. We need solitude to hear and honor the inner teacher. And yet we need community as well. We need the comfort and the challenge of other people who can help us discern our inner truth and support us in the demands of embracing it. We need wise and dependable support if we are to take an honest and sustained journey toward an undivided life. Once you've said that, that the, the soul has primacy or some kind of very fundamental and important role to play in, in human life, not only in individual life, but in collective life, then you have to ask the question, how, how do we get access to that? How, how do we invite that to, to come into view? One of the challenges, I think, before me for many years was to try to understand what it, what it might look like to educate the soul in, in the original meaning of that word, educate, to invite out from within, to create a space in which the, the soul can put in an appearance and speak its voice and make its claim on our lives. A circle of trust has no agenda other than to support the inner journey of each person in the group to make each soul feel safe enough to show up and speak its truth, to help each person listen to his or her inner teacher. Unfortunately, in our culture, community too often means a group of people who go crashing through the woods together, scaring the shy soul away. When I was writing the book A Hidden Wholeness and I was searching for a, a name that would describe this form of community that, that we invite people into of, of, of being alone together, uh, of making a space that honors the inner truth of every individual in the community, um, the, the phrase circle of trust came very quickly to mind. Trust of, at this level is very countercultural. In, in, in our world. But what I think we do by calling it a circle of trust is precisely what Lincoln had in mind when he said we must invite the better angels of our nature onto the playing field, you know, in, into the public arena. Um, I, I think like everything we do, this is invitational. It invites that trusting and trustworthy part of ourselves to show up. Community is vital in helping us develop a sense of true self, for only in community can the self exercise and fulfill its nature, giving and taking, listening and speaking, being and doing. Yet true self will show up only in communities that make it feel safe. So as we invite people into these circles, we must be able to make reliable promises about the protections they will find once they get there. One of the promissory notes is we will establish the conditions here that will be hospitable to your soul, that will be welcoming to your soul, that, that your soul will find trustworthy. And we've, we've operationalized that notion with all kinds of carefully thought out ground rules and all kinds of carefully thought out practices so that what happens almost all the time is that this invitation to be a circle of trust becomes, in fact, a real circle of trust.